Duck Duck Goose is a new animated Netflix original film which was supposed to release in theaters a few months ago and it just kind of silently was not in theaters and then it was picked up by Netflix and we got a Netflix release but I do think that was released in China I think last year possibly and this has voice cast of Jim Gaffigan and Zendaya and Natasha Leggero and this is about a goose who doesn't want to be with his flock he wants to live his own life but he saves two little ducks from being attacked by a vicious cat and they latch onto this goose like a mother. And they go on a venture together through mountains and restaurants to try to find their respective flocks. I was curious about watching this movie because I like animated movies, but I have not seen one single trailer for Duck Duck Goose. And that's probably an okay thing because this just was a generic kids movie. This movie is filled with really fast paced scenes, things, scenes that would really keep kids interested. But this was a movie that had a really simple plot going for it that felt really stretched out. They were grasping at straws to make this movie fit its runtime by adding characters near the end of the movie and just taking that simple storyline and really just stretching it out. It's a simple story of a goose that's attached to two ducks and they try to find their flock and they're also trying to run away from a cat that's trying to kill them. It's nothing spectacular, it's nothing grand, it's a really simple story. But an issue for me is that it felt like there was a lot of downtime because it was a lot of traveling from one location to another location, to this location, just trying to fill this movie in with fun, exciting scenes for the kids to enjoy. I do think that kids will enjoy this movie. The animation is pretty good for a lower budget movie like this. And there's enough jokes and fart jokes and fun adventure moments to get the kids involved. But there is one questionable scene towards the end regarding two little ducks in a restaurant that might not end too nicely for these ducks. If you understand what I'm getting at, I was a little bit confused with the route they went with that scene. But they did it and it was a little bit questionable for me. I think kids might have some questions on what might happen to those two ducks in that restaurant. There was nothing terribly bad with Duck Duck Goose. I just felt like it was average. They didn't try to do anything above and beyond. They didn't try to stand out from other animated movies that we've seen before. It was a simple story that felt stretched out. Some pretty good animation. The voice acting just felt average. Nothing too exciting. Um, it just seemed like they went into the studio, said their lines, and then left, and then that was it. It's a short movie, about an hour and a half long, and if your kids like bright colored movies with fun adventure scenes, you guys might enjoy this movie, but for an adult, there were a couple jokes that adults would enjoy, and I understood them and I laughed, but overall I felt like I've seen this kind of movie before, and didn't really explore much with the relationship between these two little ducks and this goose. I'm going to go ahead and give Duck Duck Goose a C-. minus. It's on Netflix now if you guys like to check it out. I do think it had a previous release in China and it was supposed to get released in theaters and I think in April, but it didn't get released and now it was picked up by Netflix. Stay tuned this weekend. I got a review for Father of the Year, the David Spade comedy on Netflix as well. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.